Prosecutors have charged the woman they say is responsible for shooting her boyfriend inside Glendale's Metro Market. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains how her comments about gun violence years ago may have come back to haunt her. At a 2019 basketball game held in memory of her brother, Tiffany Bennett expressed her frustrations about gun violence. It can happen for anybody. It's happening right in our neighborhood. 34-year-old DeAndre Bennett was shot and killed in Chicago. They need to put the guns down. Innocent people are dying every day. Four years later, and police say Bennett didn't take her own advice. Prosecutors charged Bennett with second-degree recklessly endangering safety and disorderly conduct. Investigators say Bennett had been fighting all day over text message with her boyfriend, who works at Glendale Metro Market. One other officer were clearing from aisle 13 towards the left. The store manager told police that Bennett grabbed cans of soup from store shelves and started throwing them at the victim. One witness told police they heard Bennett shout, I'm not playing with you. Then police say Bennett pulled out a gun from a holster on her right hip and pointed it at her boyfriend. As the man was grabbing for the gun, police say it went off, hitting him in the leg. Until we can find out who did this, uh, we're not letting anybody leave the parking lot. Another witness told police Bennett said he tried to grab the gun from me and he accidentally shot himself. When police arrived, they found Bennett holding pressure on the man's upper left leg. After the shooting, Metro Market's manager told police Bennett tried to leave the store. The manager urged her to talk to police and she replied, no, expletive that, I'm leaving. Later in an interview with detectives, investigators say Bennett admitted to giving the gun and holster to a friend who hid them in a car in the parking lot. Prosecutors also say the victim had surgery for a fractured femur. In Glendale, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thank you. Prosecutors say this is also a domestic abuse case. Community activist Tori Lowe, who organized that basketball game four years ago, confirmed the woman in our 2019 report is indeed the same Tiffany Bennett arrested last week.